Crochets in those days, like uh, the respect of uh, human rights, mm. um, the respect of women's rights. Uh, I am anti-fascist. So all these values were considered so important that they decided I had to be, but not you by know, the third in office, not appreciated by everybody. No, because you very quickly became the subject of mm. online threats. So. Of yes, the most despicable yes. nature. Yes, yes. But because is I was why, outspoken, is that why? because you're outspoken. Yeah, because I am outspoken. Because I don't hide myself. Because I think it's needed to provoke reactions and to have a real debate on certain issues. And because uh, you know I am an independent figure, so it was very easy to take me as a target. You know. A woman was targeting you. Well, I think it was uh, at the beginning the um, Five Star Movement. Uh, you know, uh, the leader that's that the, the, really the called the Populist Coalition that came into being several years ago around. Yeah. yeah um, so the the leader. Beppe Grillo, one day came out of, with a very simple question on his blog: What would you do with Boldrini in a car? So the uh, comments were just awful, sexist, violent. Uh, they were just outrageous. I mean, so that was the beginning of me as a target. Then, you, along you know, the, along the years, uh, there were also others who joined the club, like uh, Matteo Salvini, and now he's uh, the deputy prime minister and minister of interior. Uh, I can tell he's you just leader a, of the, he's from the league, the league what yes. was the Northern yes. League, yes. but is a far-right party. Mm -hmm. In fact, and um, just to give you an example, there was a rally, and he went to this rally uh, to speak to his, his followers, and uh, at a certain moment uh, he, he, he took uh, a, an inflatable sex doll, and he said, here we are, here we, we have the Speaker of the House, uh, you know, Laura Boldrini. If you compare, you know, an inflatable, uh, uh, you know, an inflatable flag, sex sorry, doll, yes, an inflatable sex, sex doll, doll with you, uh, yes, with a, with the mm -hmm. woman. But he, he, he didn't well, that mean that he apologized for that, no, didn't he? No, no, He's no, 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 no. He um, he didn't apologize. It, it, it just tried to make fun of it, mm. which is different. I mean, you have said very strong things about Matteo Salvini. You said that he has pursued a terrifying campaign of sexist attacks against you. Salvini uses sexism as a political weapon, instigation to rape as a political weapon. These are very strong yes. words, and he would categorically deny all that. No, no, no. He never denies. He's proud of it. Uh, you know, and I tell he you... He wouldn't accept the fact that you would say that he instigates no, rape he, against he women. No, he can't say anything. This is what's happening. One mayor from League Party has been convicted... Uh, just a few Liguria, days ago in Liguria, in Liguria mm -hmm. because he um, wrote a post, a, a Facebook post, saying, let's send a rapist to Boldrini's house in order to make her smile. A mayor can write something like this. This is appalling. Like, rape equal smile. So I, It is a despicable thing to have done, but... You but, can't do it without... But he was convicted. Yes, he was convicted yes. and he was fined 20,000 yes, euros, right, about $17,000. Exactly. And that's right. the point, isn't it? You can't make these kind of attacks and get away with them in Italy, no. can you? I mean, this is like instigation to rape. It's a crime. I worked but it's in recognized former, as a crime. It, yes, but I worked in former Yugoslavia, uh, in Rwanda. I have seen this kind of strategy, you know, uh, to uh, advocate for rape against the, the other group, uh, the opponents, you know. But in those occasions, there was a war. In a democratic country, it's not acceptable. And if somebody comes out with such, a, you know, a post or a statement, has to be but brought to, you know, to justice. You, but regrettable as it is, do you think that this is part of the territory, sadly now, for female politicians, wherever they are, I mean, we have, you know, women in, in the UK say similar things. Well, we had Australia's Julia Gillard, the Prime Minister, saying she received terrible, you know, sexist um, comments about her. And so Hillary Clinton in the United States. Is it just 
part of the deal, as it were, for female politicians. We punishes. cannot accept this as part of the deal. I'm sorry. I mean, this is done on purpose uh, to discourage women to be in politics. Uh, it's a sort of, it's a form of intimidation. Okay. So I think we have to, we have to react. We have to report. We have to sue people who dare to use certain wordings. This is absolutely uh, unacceptable, I think. I'm so lonely, broken angel. I'm so lonely.